Why Some Doctors Believe Ketosis Starves Tumors Can changing diet actually reverse the growth of cancer in the body? The keto diet is known to be an effective tool for weight loss, but in recent years some including some doctors have claimed the diet has cancer-reversing qualities. Although the theory might someday be proven correct, far more research is needed before scientists know whether the diet can be used as a safe and effective treatment for cancer. A 2018 study did show one promising use for the keto diet in treating cancer, though it was purely used as a supplemental tool in conjunction with a conventional approach. Like any trendy diet worth its balanced portion of salt, the keto diet is said to hold transformative powers. Proponents say it can help people lose weight, improve mood and experience fewer epileptic seizures. For the most part, the science seems to back these claims up, though, to be sure, it's not completely understood how exactly the keto diet affects mood, particularly depression, despite anecdotal evidence the diet might lead to clearer thinking and fewer symptoms of depression. The boldest claim about the keto diet, however, is that entering a state of ketosis, which occurs when the body begins burning fat instead of glucose for fuel, can slow or even reverse cancer. It's an idea that stems from a century-old theory about the primary cause of cancer. Cancer and Metabolism In the 1920s, a German biochemist named Otto Warburg observed that most cancers get their fuel differently than normal cells, a phenomenon dubbed the Warburg effect. The difference, in simple terms, is that cancer cells consume a lot more glucose than healthy cells. A Blueprint for the Destruction of Cancer one of the most vocal proponents of the keto diet as cancer treatment theory has been Dr. Thomas Seyfried, a cancer researcher and professor at Boston College. Several years ago, Seyfried said that the keto diet actually beats chemotherapy for some types of cancer, a claim founded in his rather controversial belief that cancer is primarily a mitochondrial metabolic disease. Some have argued that Seyfried has put the cart in front of the horse in his past claims, and it should be noted that some prior studies which ostensibly show the keto diet's cancer-reversing properties fail to demonstrate conclusively that it was ketosis, and not another factor, that helped beat cancer. Ultimately, more research on the keto diet and cancer is required before doctors can responsibly recommend it as a standalone treatment. Another Use for the Keto Diet in Cancer Treatment In July 2018, a study published in the journal Nature described how researchers used the keto diet to help a cancer-treating drug become more effective. Recently, scientists have been experimenting with a new class of cancer drugs that target a cell signaling pathway called phosphatidylinositol 3 kinase. Studies have found mutations in this kinase as cancer develops, so the aim of the new drugs is to block the pathway with the hopes of stopping tumor growth. But researchers found that taking these drugs seems to cause spikes in blood sugar, which reactives the pathway and effectively kills the purpose of the drugs. In the 2018 study, researchers decided to use the keto diet as a way to control glucose levels in the body. The study authors noted that the promising results don't suggest that the keto diet on its own has any cancer-reversing effects. What's more, they noted that a group of mice in the study that was placed on the keto diet but didn't receive any cancer drugs actually developed cancer at faster rates than the other mice. 